This is a great evening. And we give God thanks this evening for this great gathering. What a beautiful, beautiful evening we have in here. Beautiful couple stand before me as they will show their love and pledge their love to one another. We want to thank you that for coming out this afternoon to be a part of this great celebration. We say thanks to you. Isn't the bride beautiful? And the groom is handsome. Let us pray at this time. Whatever we are doing, we got to have God in what we are doing. So let us pray. Almighty God and our Father, we come before you this afternoon. We thank you for your grace and your mercy and the peace that passes all understanding. As we come this evening, this special evening, to join this man and woman together as you ordained, we pray for the blessing to be upon them right now. Would you put your arms around them and mold them with your love and with your compassion? We give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. amen. At this time, we'll have the readers come. And our first lesson comes to us from Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Chapter 4, reading from verses 9 through 12. That will be read by Janelle Award. Our second lesson comes to us from the New Testament. Ephesians chapter 5, reading from verses 21 to 33. And Tishano Riley will be reading for us. Good afternoon, everyone. Today's reading is from Ecclesiastes 4, reading from verses 9 to 12. Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. But how can one be warm alone? And if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him, and a threefold cord is not quickly broken. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. Tishana is not here. Can you just come back and read for us, please? Ecclesiastes chapter 5, reading from verses 21 through 33. Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, submit yourselves to your own husbands as you do to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body of which he is the Savior. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. I'm going to ask the couples to just loose their hands now. They're going to have a lot of time to hold hands together. So we want them to set apart until I put them together. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of God and in the face of his company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony which is an honorable estate instituted of God, signifying unto the mystical union that is betwixt Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence, and first miracle that he wrought in Canaan of Galilee. And he commanded St. Paul to be honorable among all men, and therefore it is not, by, to, is not to be by any enter into undevised and advisedly 
or lightly or reverently, discreetly, advisedly, soberly in the fear of God. Unto this holy estate, their two person present comes now to join. If any man can show just cause why they may not lawfully join together, let him now speak or else hereafter forever. All is peace. No objection. Let us move on. I require the charge to both, as he will answer at the dreadful day of judgment, when the secret of all arts shall be disclosed, that if either of you know any impediment, why he may not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, he do now confess it. For be ye will assure that if any person are joined together otherwise, then as God would not allow, their marriage is not lawful. To the groom. Peter Dixon. For those of you who didn't know his name, Peter. Now you know that he named Peter. I never knew until I counseled him. Peter, will thou have this woman to be thy wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance, in holy estate of matrimony? Will thou love her, comfort her, Honor and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others. Keep thee alone unto her as long as he both shall live. If you will, will you say, I will? I will. Say it loud. I will. Did you hear that? Yes. <laughs> Now to the bride to be Tomoy Walters. You will say I will. You don't have to say if you don't want to. It's a choice. Now leave then, now leave. <laughs> will thou Tomoy have this man to thy wedded husband to live together after God's ordinance? In holy estate of marriage, will thou love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others? Keep thee alone unto him as long as he both shall live. If you will, will you say, I will? I will. I like that. I want you to look in his eyes. Look in his eyes and tell him one more time, I will. I will. He loves that. Yes. I will. I love that sound. I will. Very strong about it. Who give this woman to be married to this handsome man? Who will? Who gave? I want you to come right here and take this beautiful woman hand and put it in the hand of this handsome man. Take her hand, please. Both of you. And give it to her. Slow, slow. Okay. That is a slow, slow. slow. Don't want to give her away too fast. Slow, slow. Thank you. you can hold him with the head and as well. Now you can do that. Now you have been given away to this man. 
and daddy and mommy, you don't own her anymore. This man owned her for the rest of your life. It's a great responsibility. You ready for that? I think you do. Don't cry. You know, when um, anytime there's a wedding, I feel like I want to marry it again. It is so beautiful. I don't know, for those of you that married and living a good life with your husband or your spouses, you feel like when you come to these type of weddings, such beautiful people, feel like you want to do it over again. And I will do it with the same woman. <laughs> the groom. Peter T Dixon. Will you take the Tomoy Walters to be your wedded wife to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, poor, for sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part according to God's holy ordinance. And there too, I pledge thee my choice. If you do, will you say, I will, by the help of God? I will. By the help of God. <laughs> to Tomoy. Walters, I will read just what I read to your expected husband. And if you will, you will repeat just as he did. I will by the help of God. Tomoy Walters, will you take your wedded husband to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part according to God's holy ordinance. And dear to I pledge my Troy. If you will, will you say? I will by I the help of God. Thank you, thank you. Is there a token? Man, why are you holding to the people that ring? We have personal vows. Yes. We're going to bless it first. Oops. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this evening. As we are about to join this couple together with this ring that has no end, I pray a blessing upon this ring right now. Just like the ring with no hand, I pray that their love will last forever. That there be no end of their love. And as they wear this ring, oh God, they will wear it with honor and with respect. As unto you, for Christ's sake we pray. Amen. Amen. They have some reading of some vows before they place the rings on their fingers. So I'm going to give them the opportunity at this time to say what they want to say to each other. Tamoy, to that take you to be my wife in full knowledge that I have the most wonderful woman in the world as my wife. I vote to spend every moment I can with you to learn together, to love together, to anticipate your needs and rejoice with you as my wife. I knew from the moment when you walked in my life Love walked in my life. We have so much in common that every time I would tell you 
about my vulnerable moments in my life, you would come in with something similar. We would often comfort each other and give words of affirmation when we are down. There are so many moments in our lives being together that I can highlight, but the one that stuck with me is the, the most is when I was sick with COVID. You would come home after a long night at work to make sure I ate, shower, and comfortable as possible. You would often sit at the room door and converse with me just to make sure I'm mentally, emotionally, and physically stable. When everyone was running away from me because of COVID, you were running to me every chance you get. That morning when I was feeling my worst, I gave up on life. You stood by my side and encouraged me. You didn't accept me giving up. You always pushed me to be strong. You are the most gorgeous and determined lady. You are the most gorgeous, courageous, and determined lady that I know in this world. I'm blessed every day by your presence and grateful for your heart, love, and loyalty. I promise to beat up anybody. I love that. I promise to beat up anyone that gets on your nerve, or if it's me that gets on your nerve, I'll beat up myself. I promise to continue to watch over you and strive to keep the smile on your face for all days to come. Sometimes I can be very indecisive, but today I've never been more certain of the decision that I'm waiting to spend the rest of my life with you. On this day, I pledge to be the partner you dreamed of marrying when you were a child. It will be my continued goal to uncover all your dreams for the future and to work towards making them reality that we can both share and enjoy. There are no words and no perfect emotions for what I feel today. The idea that you are to be my wife is overwhelming. I'm truly the most fortunate and blessed man in this world. I will continue to love and to cherish you for this day forward. I love you, Tamoy. Come on, come on, give him a better cheer than that. Peter just melt her down. You know, just listening to you it makes me want to cry. Too. It was so emotional. And you know, because I counsel them, I know this man loved this woman. I want to hear from Tamoy. So let's see if I could top that. <laughs> you love to talk. Peter Anthony Dixon, babe. Here we are standing. Across from each other on our wedding day. It took us nine years, three months, two weeks, and one day. Wow. Plus numerous bumps in the road. But we are here. And I wouldn't have done it any other way. You came into my life. You came into my life at a time when I felt like I had no one. You stepped in and have been my rock, best friend, confidant, and biggest supporter. 
I have a front row seat of witnessing you as a father, which is one of your biggest qualities that I admire. And I have gained a son in the process. Tutaji, I appreciate you. To Taji, I appreciate you for making this process so smooth. They make me cry too. You are a great kid. <laughs> you are a leader. You are smart, witty, and very respectful. I knew you first before ever knowing your dad. And I believe that was the Lord's intervention. Ensuring that you and I have a great relationship before creating this union, which is essential. I promise to be there for you with whatever support you need. And please, don't hesitate to ask me for help with whatever you need. I love you. Peter, you and I, you and I know how indecisive I can be. And you said that in your vows, you stole my line. <laughs> but, I just don't like making decisions, even as simple as deciding what to eat. But if there is one decision in life that I know is the right one and super easy to make, is to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you because you love hard. You love your family just as fiercely as I love mine. I love your thoughtfulness and your ability to keep me grounded, even though I can be hard-headed sometimes. But I know your intentions are pure. You are the love of my life, and it feels great to be on the same team with you. You make me happier than I could have ever imagined and more loved than I ever thought possible. You make me unbelievably proud, and I promise to make you proud as your wife. I vow to listen to you, laugh with you, cry with you, and support you, even when you are losing your FIFA games, and when you are stressed, Oh, by the Knicks and the Giants. <laughs> as my team does. I vow to value our differences as much as our similarities. I vow to put all my effort into strengthening our marriage and give you the best value of myself. I will forever honor you as my husband. I love you. Oh. Thank you so much. Just step back a little bit and let she step forward. Yeah. Isn't this beautiful? Isn't this beautiful? It's very emotional. Make my high got wet too. Right? Very emotional. I see so many people wiping tears. And I believe this is very sincere. Most of all. This is love. Hello, somebody. I said, this is love. And you see, this is not 50-50. This is 100, 100%. Thank you, Peter and Tomoy, for this commitment that you have committed to one another. And when anything going wrong, just go back and look at it. Don't, don't lose that text, that message. You should frame it. Both of you should frame it and put it in your house. So when things going on, you go back. 
because the road can be bumpy sometimes. But as you read in your message to each other, you will be sticking it out regardless. Now we are going to do the exchange of rings. You know what, what finger to put it on, sir? Of course. I'm going to ask you to hold that finger of her right now. And I'm going to read, and I will let you know when you can put it all the way. With this ring, I want you to repeat after me. Now, now you're going to repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I D wed. I D wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the, Son. And of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Amen. Tomorrow you're gonna do the same. With this ring, with this ring, I do wed. I do wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may put it on. All right. Come on. You should be cheering them. I can hear tomorrow say, "I got you." <laughs> and you got her. Eh? What a wonderful, wonderful evening. I'm going to ask everyone to stand at this time and we are going to repeat the Lord's Prayer together. Would you please at this time? Let us repeat the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, we short in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debt, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Before we go further, we're going to do the sand ceremony at this time. Would we come over here? You guys know what to do, right? I'm going to ask my wife to come and assist me in this as she's going to. This is a beautiful woman. <laughs> she's going to read for me and. Um... Tamoy and Peter. Put the mic in my way. You have committed here today to share the rest of your lives with each other. We have witnessed your giving and receiving of rings and the exchange of vows. To joy is also a part of this blended family. Together you are going to create a key sake that will remind you of this day. We will now join you as we will observe you create a lasting visual representation. The red sand represent Tomoy and all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. Red symbolize love, passion, romance, and happiness. Tomoy will pour some of the red sand The black sand represents Peter. And all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be, 
black symbolize authority, wealth, and unique, uniqueness. Peter will pour some of the black sand. The green sand represents today and all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. Green represents health, luck, and prosperity. Today, wait, 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 today, today will pour some of the green sand. The white sand represent the foundation of Christ in your marriage. Home and family. Minister will pour some of the white sand. As you know, alternately layer your sand together your lives also join together as one, as a family. The layer of your past become layers of your present and your future. The layers of each individual have now become a part of each, each, each other member. The final product is one very unique piece of heart. Your marriage and family are a unique work of heart created by Jesus Christ. These grains of sand, while different colors, can never be separated again. Mm -hmm. It represents you, your unity in Christ and His plan for your marriage. Let God forever support you in your relationship. Close with a prayer and end. Now, these signs that you see here, there's no way that you can separate these signs. It doesn't matter how genius you are. You can come here and take the red from the green or the black from the red. They are one. And that is saying, it's sending a big message to the Dixon's family, that you are one together. And I like what Tamar says about your son. I love those words, and I'm sure you feel proud of that, that she gained a son. And I heard she say, anything you want to Jay, mommy is here. You got a new mommy. Mommy is here. I heard she said that she knew you before she even knew your father. It seemed like it always go the other way. But this is a miracle. We're going to pray at this time. Would you all stretch your hands right now as we pray a blessing right now on this sand ceremony. Father, we thank you again. As this family, the Dixon's family, pour this sand together is a sign of togetherness, is a sign of bond, is a sign of oneness, is a sign of showing love. I pray as we cannot separate this sand from each other, that they will bind themselves together and that there be no separation, that you will be in their midst. You will bless them in their going out and their coming in. This prayer we, work, we pray and ask of thee in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 
Now, Tamar and uh, Peter, will you come back right here as we close off in this now. We're going to close off for this time. Oh, eternal creator, the preserver of all mankind, giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life, send thy blessing upon thee, thy servant, this man and this woman, whom we bless in thy name, that they live in faithfully together, may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant betwixt them made thereof. This ring given and receiving is a token of and pledge and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together and live according to thy laws through Jesus Christ our Lord. Everyone say, Amen. 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 To whom God joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as the groom and bride have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed this same before God in the company of their, in the company and there to have given the pledge they draw each to others and have declared the same by giving and receiving rings and by joining hands i pronounce that they are man and wife in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit come on Cheer them on, cheer them on, cheer them on. Before I pronounce the benediction, I just want to encourage you with a few words before the rain comes. That um, this evening, God witness everything that has been done. As much as just look around and see, just I want you to just turn your head. And look around and see all these friends and family that you have invited to celebrate. This is a this is celebration. Yes. I want to encourage you. I don't need to say much to you because you all said it to one another. What I would have said, you already said to each other. But I just want to encourage you that things might not go the way you want it to go. But let us learn to compromise with one another. It's not all the time. I said in the council, and I want to say to everyone that are here, it's not who is right or who is wrong. It's what will make the relationship worse. Because sometimes, even when you are right, come on, you might have to step back a little so that the relationship works. And that goes for you to Peter. That doesn't mean that you're a loser. Tomorrow, it doesn't mean that you're a loser. You're going to do everything that is possible to make the relationship. It's not mommy or daddy. If there's, you can get counsel from mommy and daddy, but work out your things together. Make sure there's no wedges between you both. Yeah. Any family members or friends that comes in, you, I heard you say, you're going to fight like hell. Yes. I believe you. I believe you. This is a man of courage. I know we we'll call him um, Sanchez. All this I know him for many, many, many years. And to see that I am putting both of them together it gives me pride. Feeling very proud that he had asked me to be ceremony or the officiating minister. Before I say the benediction, all what these people come most of all to see. I don't know what it is in it. 
But everybody laughed. I don't know why. Whatever you practice, just show them what you practice. I know you're a professional now. So tomorrow, just do what? <laughs> okay. So that one was for Tamoy. Tamoy, I know you know to do it better than him. Listen to me. Woman knows how to do it. Right, ladies? They know how to do it. And uh, do it right. Just do it right. Show him out. All right. I told you. I told you. I told you. <laughs> what a wonderful couple what a wonderful couple i'm so honored this evening god and father god the son and god the holy spirit bless preserve and keep you the lord mercifully which is favor looked upon you and filled you with all spiritual benediction and grace that he may so live together in this life that in the world to come he may have life everlasting god bless you i'm gonna pray one more prayer for this couple i should have bring my rope to tie them together i forgot it but um and i should have bring my knee pad my wife did not Remember, I want them to kneel, but let us pray for them. Put your head right on her forehead. Take this. Would you hold this for me? Just like that. Father, we come before you again in the name of Jesus. We thank you for holding up the rain until this time. I pray one more time for a blessing upon this couple that you will be with them in their going out and in their coming up, in their rising up and in their lying down. Whatever they're going to do tonight, be with them. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. amen. Cheer them on, cheer them on. Thank you so much, thank you so much.
This evening, I want to introduce first the parents of the groom, uh, Mr. Derek and Ames Wright. Bride parents, mother of the bride. I got this Call feeling inside my bones. It Call it down, Anderson. Father and step, mother of the bride. Errol and Christine Walters. Where is my ring bearer, General? Jeremiah Grant. Flowers girl, Amoy Edwards. Juno Bride, Navid Curry. Son, Travis Dixon. Could you make your way through for me, please? Groomsman. Shavai Dixon, Dirk Wright, Shamir Anderson, Stephen Donna, Bridesmaid, Maxine Miller, Santana Grant, Garcia Roper, Debian Johnson, and Trisha Bonnet. Please, and we are going to give a real round of applause to Mr. and Mrs. Dixon as they come in, and they're going to give us their first dance.
Sanchez, would you stand for me, please, and take your wife as you do your first dance as husband and wife. This is their official first dance as husband and wife.
Good evening again to everyone. Was the cocktail good? Okay, let us give thanks for the food. Father, again, we come before you. We thank you for this evening again. We thank you for the guests of honor this evening and for all those who come to celebrate with this wonderful couple. As we are about to dine with the main course, we ask that we will bless the food. Even what we have already devoured, we ask that you will bless it right now, that it will be beneficial to our bodies. We ask you right now, God, that you will cut the cholesterol, that it will not damage our body. And the hypertension, the sodium, cut it right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Welcome family and friends. I hope you are all having a lovely evening. My name is Shantana. If you haven't met me yet, I guess you're at the wrong wedding. Um, I'm Peter's niece and the matron of honor. And I am nervous as heck <laughs> about this speech. So I promise to make it short so that we can get to the open bar where they open my speech. As we celebrate the love between Tamoy and Peter, I am reminded of the quote from the movie, Fifty First Dates. If you haven't watched it, watch it. It goes, being with you is the only way I could have a full happy life. You're the girl of my dreams, his words too. And apparently, I'm the man of yours. <laughs> This heartwarming sentiment embodies the beautiful connection that these two share. Tamoy and Peter have found in each other their perfect match, their dream partners, and their keys to a full and happy life. Their love is a testament to the power of finding that one person who truly completes us and makes us the best version of ourselves. So let's raise our glasses to this incredible couple who have found their dream partners in each other. 
to Tomoy and Peter, may your love continue to grow and flourish throughout your lives together. Cheers. Come on. All right. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Um, to Mr. and Mrs. Peter Dix. Here's to you and here's to, no, here's to her and here's to you. I hope you two never disagree, but if by chance you ever do, here's to him, to hell with you, Tommy. In your new life together, may, you, may, may your sorrow be filled with joy, abundant as they, as they are the days of our life. Days of our life. I, no, no, no. Not the soap opera days of our life. Peter, you, 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 Peter, you just meet Mrs. Wright. I bet you didn't know her name was always right. Mr. and Mrs. Dixon, may you both live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. God bless you both, and may you have a lifetime of happiness together. I am going to ask everyone to take their glass and toast who can still stand to raise their glass to Mr. and Mrs. Dix. God bless you. Sanchez, you tell me, say, you want me write a speech. And brother, thank <laughs> God. With me here, Mr. Brother, I'm not writing no speech, you know. Because anything I ever say to you, I already write that by my heart. Is it? So, man, I wouldn't be here without this man. I wouldn't. From a little boy to a grown ass man that I am, this man's always been my big brother. Sometimes I feel like I was the big brother, especially the days when I'm hungry. I still would say you can have half mine. Shabbat. When I had a job just cleaning dishes, I loved my brother so much that my brother pulled up on me and said, Yo, my 20 or 30 or 100. I would just give it to him just so this man could look fly. I had a nicer bicycle than this dude. I gave him my nice bicycle and took the old one, just so the dude could look fly. I've always been watching over my brother, trying to protect my brother, be there for my brother. And Tamai, I don't gotta do that, because you got that, that's your job. You know, Tamai, you're a beautiful lady, a great woman. My brother sing your praises all the time. I will talk to the dude for three hours sometimes, and you don't even know it'll be about you. This man truly loves you, man, and I know you love him too. And I just want Ja, God, Allah, to just bless you guys, keep you healthy, keep you strong, help you to work through whatever you go through, and just be a shining example because you guys are an example for me. I want to know what the hell am I waiting on because Ja knew a star. We had a man thing, look, look how we are. Like, we're outside. And I see the entire crowd crying. That is love. That's love. If you don't got a love like that, you ain't doing something right. Because I want to love, not exactly like that, but close enough, you know? But yeah, man, bless up for the self. I want everybody to take a toast to these beautiful people. I want to give thanks for all of the people here. And also, I want to give a big shout out to my mother because without her, this man wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be here. Big shout out to our stepfather as well, our father as well that's been here. Trisha has been there along the journey. And I see so many familiar faces in here. Steve, Davin, Odain, Brian, Max, Davian, Tisha, and Antipai. You guys know this man's journey. You guys know who this dude is. So show him some love. Appreciate him for making the right choice in life and choosing a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman to accompany him forever and ever. I'm never soon to up there. So one day. <laughs> Good evening. 
My name is Hajay, and I'm the son of the groom, Peter. I've been looking forward to this moment for a, couple, for a couple of years now, and the time has finally came. The groom, the groom Peter, and the bride Tamar are very important and meaningful people and parents towards me. I've always anticipated this day, and it's finally here, so I will cherish this day with all my heart. Tamoy means a lot to me, and she, always, she is always ready and willing to help with things like homework and anything else I needed. I met Tamoy when I was four years old. We have had a great bond and shared countless memories. She has always respected me for who I am, no matter what the situation is. My favorite thing about her is that she is very organized, and she never has a problem with giving a helping hand. Now on to my father, Peter. We share so much memories, whether it's being disciplined, playful jeering, relaying knowledge, or doing our favorite thing. Everyone says that me and my dad are very much alike, which I don't know, but I, <laughs> but I do think that we match and have similar personalities like each other. My favorite thing about my dad are the talks that he gives me, which can be life lessons on how to make certain choices in life. One of the things that my dad always says to me that sticks with me is you have to make little sacrifices in order to get the bigger things in life. Tamoy, my dad, has always been there for me, and I think that they really made the right choice to get married, because I know they are going to be very prosperous with everything that they do. I always see them happy with each other, and I never heard any one of them say that they are tired of the other person. To me and my dad match each other very well. They have similar personalities, similar goals in life, and similar futures. Lastly, my favorite memories slash memories with them are when we used to go to Woodbury Common together. In that car, we would have talks, crack jokes, and just have positive vibes with each other. All in all, I wish you guys have a peaceful, prosperous marriage and enjoy yourselves. Tomorrow and Daddy, I'm letting, you know, I'm letting you guys know now that I'll be waiting, and now there's no excuse for giving me a sibling that I've been waiting for, and we aren't, <laughs> and we aren't stopping here. We're going to keep achieving and accomplishing more goals to come, and I love you guys at the bottom of my heart. Thank you, everyone, for coming and supporting my dad and Tomorrow for the wedding. Have a great time. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. Every time I see Tajoy and Tamiai, Sanchez and Peter, she's just wrapped up in my arms. I just love her. And she knows that she's my second daughter. Sanchez, my pain. My pain. Tamoy, Christian, please take care of my son. Sanchez, please take care of Tamoy. Tamoy, you know you passed the goal. You passed it. Because if I come to your house and I sat into your chair, Sanchez comes and he fix the pillow with me sitting there. And Tamoy, you know how to make the dumpling. Because if you don't know how to get to the bottom of it, you have to know how to do it, Tamoy. And Tamoy, when I came there and saw that table that you fixed for my son, I have a picture in my heart. And Tamoy, the love is my heart. It's just burning for you, girl. And you know that, Tamoy. You not even say Ada, you say mommy, right? You say mommy. And you make me feel so good, Tamoy. Every time I see you just wrapped up in my arms. I feel it really when you wrapped up in my arms. When you talk to me on the phone, feel good, feel good. I feel like love taking over right now. Come on, my daughter-in-law seems so happy now. Come on, I love you. I love you to my heart, cause every time I see you, tell my just wrapped up in my heart. <laughs> Sanchez! You hear that song, Sanchez? Sanchez? That song is for you, Sanchez. Sanchez, you know when you're going to work. When you call me, I say, what now, Sanchez? Mommy, you know, me can't call you. I said, okay, let's talk about it now. I said, when is the wedding? Mommy, why are you rushing things so much? I said, Sanchez, you make the girls them hate me. Because when you told me you're going to propose to Tamoy, and I said, yes, yes, Tamoy is on top now. And Sanchez, I'm glad for you. And Tamoy, I'm happy for you. Sanchez, God will mend what is broken. 
in your name I pray and I claim it. Amen. Can you see what the Lord has done? I am waiting for this day to come. Look what the Lord has Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First, I must give a call on to the mind star who has made this day possible. I must, on behalf of my family in Jamaica, back home in Jamaica, I don't want to give, I don't want to give my son Peter a big, big hug. Congratulations, sir. I didn't say son-in-law, I say my son, because he is a son to me. From the first day Tomoy brought him home to Jamaica, my mom, who has deceased us, has gave him the blessing to marry my daughter. Thank you for this day, Sanchez. Welcome again. May God continue to bless this union. Tomoy, the struggle has just begun. It is not going to be a bed of roses every day, but with God, all things are possible. Stay on the path that brought you guys together. Put God first in everything, every situation. Love your husband, listen to your husband, make decisions together, and all will be well. You have made your commitment to a lifetime of love, togetherness. Remember that marriage is a journey. It has its ups and downs, but it will also a journey that will work every step because it is a journey filled with love, compassion, and growth. May your love for each other continue to deepen and flourish with each other each year as Tajay said, we need a grandson, our granddaughter. Oh my God. And then he says, stay on the path, passing years, may you strength in one, in another, each other, and during the difficult times, and you'll celebrate the triumph together. Love always. Your mom. Master, a ceremony. Friends, family, good afternoon. I'm here just to say a few words for my loving God, which I didn't know I would even have. As a young man in Jamaica, I guess all uh, uh, most young men know when a lady say, oh, I'm pregnant. Oh, he's a son, man. And I said, I oh, well, have a son. And it's not like now when you know what kind of child you want to have even before you get pregnant. You chose the sex. Uh, in those days, we have to wait nine months, seven months until the baby born. You know what kind of baby, what kind of child you have. So you have to buy like you would say clothes. If it's a boy, here you go. If it's a girl, here you go. When I heard I have a daughter, I said no. Check again. Come back is a daughter. I just cheer up and said, I have to do what I have to do. And trust me, it was a blessing. I love her so much. I don't really cry, but when I cry for her, I can tell you, it's true love. And Mr. Dixon, 
I never have a son when she was born. But I can tell you, I have a son. It takes so long to get a son. <laughs> but for sure, I have a son. <laughs> Which is, I know, you and she will have a good time. Because she's a special girl, and you seem to be a special man. So I know both of you is going to be a special person. And with respect, you take care of she, she take care of you. I hear some people talking about siblings. I don't know. Maybe it's time. Because you said, hey, I'm with him nine years, six months, two days, and 24 hours. I don't know. It seems like a chicken. <laughs> that is real special. And that's love. Because you know where it starts, and you don't know where it's going to be end. Hope it will never end. Take care of each other and with respect and love, let's cheer the groom and the bride with thanks. Hello, everyone. I'm not really a talker. I don't like to be talking this much or whatever. But I had to today because when I met Dixon, it's like I met a brother that I never had. I could go to Dixon with anything and we will talk about it. And there's always an ending result with Dixon. One of the things, two of the things that I really admire about Dixon is his love for his wife. 24 seven, there's never a conversation I remember when he came to me and he was like, cool, I'm ready for do it, no, I'm going to do it. I'm like, okay, we're going to do this together. But another thing is the love for your son. As a single mom, I admire every single day and every conversation that you have about your son. I don't think we ever spoken and you never mentioned something about your son. Even when you drop me home from work, those conversations that you sit on the phone with him, your homework finished, how was school? I admire that. And I want you guys to continue building and what you have been building already. Keep on loving each other. Communication is the key. Keep communicating. If there's an issue, you guys speak about it first. You don't need to go to family, you don't need to go to friends. Some things is just a closed door, and we're going to fix this, okay? And I love you both, and more blessings and more happiness and everything good and great. Yes. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. <sighs> Jaja, most of you know him as Peter, but me know him as Sanchez. Zin? Jaja. <laughs> Bro, I love you. <laughs> Yo, Jaja. More than 10 years of friendship, Zin. I never meet somebody with a bigger heart than Sanchez. Like, this brother here put people over himself. And as some know, say, Tamai. You find a real one, may I tell you? Because Sanchez love you for true, 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 true. He's not married yet today because him just want to marry. Like, him talk about you, she just said 24 7. Bro, I have so much to say, but you know that's something to go. Because, you know, I don't want to cry. Because, you know, we don't cry. Zane. But I just say, I love you, bro. I'm a pro of you because of far you come from. Zin. And everybody where they here, we know the bride and the groom. Just raising a glass of me, please. So much to be said, but you don't know me. I forgot it short. We all love and appreciate Bo Town. Thanks for having us. Many more years to come. Cheers. Hi everyone. So since we're pressed for time, I'm gonna be extremely short. 
So I'm going to introduce myself. I am Debbie Ann. Some days I'm Debbie, some days I'm Ann, but tonight I'm Debbie just for Tomoy. Okay, so I've known Tomoy for almost most of my life. We went to high school together. We were best friends all throughout high school. And Tomoy, she ain't failed me yet. She was always there. She's a sweetheart. She's a lover, and when she loves, she loves hard. And I could tell you that. When I came to New York on Wednesday and I met Peter for the first time, I've heard of Peter, but this was my first time meeting Peter. And when I saw the two of them together, I was like, yes, Lord, you get this one right. <laughs> I felt the love, I felt the connection, and I'm so happy for my girl. When they were at the altar, the tissue wasn't even good enough for me. But I am so happy, and I just want to say congratulations. Best wishes. It's not going to take me another 15 years to come and see you. <laughs> and all the best. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Peter, please. Thank you, oh my girl. Good night, one and all. Isn't this beautiful? You know, it's a, it's a good combination of both families, the Dixons and the Walters, and one of our good friends from the hospital, Tamoy. This is my first time meeting Peter. I know that he has heard my name all, every day of the week. The first thing that we, when we come to the hospital, the first thing we see is Tamoy. On the phone. Speaking to who? Peter. Peter. And so that's how we got to know him. Everything is like, oh, Robert, this, Robert, that. So uh, one thing I can say, though, is from all of us, is that Tamoy is a, is a street shooter. In other words, she speaks clearly what she wants, and you will know. Um, and she likes protocols. She likes fairness. And she really, really abides by that. So for us and our team, could we stand? PCU team is from the hospital. We just want to tell you we love you very much. And you, you're talking about fighting. We fight together on the floor. Yeah. And um, we really, really support Tamoy. You have a, a great job on your hand, and you always have me to contend with. Um, so let's raise our glasses. All right? It's a, it's, this is a beautiful expression of love. May we all join us. Um, you're going to have a beautiful future together. Okay. Thank you. All right. So um, this toast cannot be finished, and I don't say something to my sister. Um, well, not my sister, but also my mom. Tomoy, don't make me cry. From her since I was a baby, I always remember you take care of me. Um. Up until now, you've been my sister, my second mom, a person I could go to. I just want to tell you I love you very much, and you know, congratulations on your marriage. And uh, through this relationship, I've gained a brother, Sanchez. Sanchez, I love you very much. Um, you taught me a lot. You took me in like, Taji, Taji is like, a younger brother to me. So I just want to say, raise your glasses, say cheers to these people for a long marriage, health, and prosperity. I love you guys. To hear it, what we want, but I've got it out. Do our friend help? Because they can't find it, so we can take a watch here. But one person find it. 
Didn't it? One person find it, right? Yeah, so one person got lose MC because it take too long to find it. And this is authentic. Authentic. Yeah, it's a thousand Jamaican dollar bill. This is what the new money looks like. All right, all right. I'm gonna make it easy. Sit down. Make it easy. I'm gonna make it easy. I'm gonna make it easy. Make it easy. I need. I need to find. All right, all right, we have seven people here. Anybody rush to get a car key for me fast? A car key. Go get your driver's license. 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 Go get your driver's license.
get your driver's license. I don't care where you are, go get your driver's license. Go get your driver's license. Get up, get your driver's license. I need a driver's license, man. Can't show the road for me. I don't take your time from the money. Just do what we tell you for the soon star. And make sure that everything will come to all when it's good for you, see? Take on yourself and make yourself in a one piece. Make sure you see you're ready. Hear me? Lord of mercy. Hey, Lord of this mercy. I need polish. I need polish. Ladies, I need to find me a nail polish. Attention, please, attention, please. So, um, on the behalf of my wife and I, um, I just want to say thank you to everyone for being here with us today. Many of you have been traveled a long way to participate, and we thank you for your time and effort. We have spent the last months planning our wedding, and we could have not done it without the help of some very special people. First, I want to thank God because nothing would have been possible without him. I want to thank our parents for your support and everything that you have provided and done for us. To our wedding parties, you have laughed and cried with us. You guys kept us going even when things seemed rocky. And for that, we thank you very much. Our day wouldn't have been the same without you guys. To our guests, each of you is here because you belong here. Our day wouldn't be completed without you. Thank you for coming. I want to thank my beautiful wife for her. And, um, yeah. yeah, let me say that again. I want to thank my beautiful wife for her creativity and brilliant mind because she envisioned this day and it was brought to, to fruition. It was a lot of hard work, sweat and tears to make this day possible. Teamwork meant the dream work and it was a team effort for sure. With some ups and downs, but God pushed us through. Last but not least, we want to thank the vendors for their hard work and dedication to make this day possible. We thank the decor staff. You guys did a great job, and I meant that from the bottom of my heart. And you guys can see that, right? They did a great job, right? Give them a round of applause now. Give them a round of applause. Tabby, we thank you very much. Um, the photographers and the videographer, right? Um, you guys have been great, you know, engagement photos, all that. Um, so, you know, hats off to you guys. You guys do a marvelous job. And listen, guys, they're available. So who's next? Just hit them up. They good. Um, the DJs, thank you guys. The MC, thank you very much. And also the venue staff. The venue staff have been marvelous. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate you. But last but not least, I want to thank the florists. The florists, they did a marvelous job with the flowers. Um, and that really gave the place a pop. Um, if, I'm, if I'm missing anyone, forgive me. Um, thanks to everyone again for going over and beyond for us. God bless.
jeans, you see the wings on every pair. All you see is Remy boys, you know my niggas everywhere. And if somebody got a problem, we could meet up anywhere. Now go say some, don't you niggas play?